Hey guys, Chris here from Security Bros. Have you ever bought a security camera only to realize it doesn't work with your existing system? That's where OnBiff comes in, and today we are going to break down what OnBiff is, why it's important for your security setup, and how it can save you time and money. OnBiff stands for Open Network Video Interface Forum. Think of it like Bluetooth for security cameras and devices. Just as Bluetooth allows different brands of headphones, speakers and smartphones to connect and communicate, OnVIF allows security cameras, recorders and software from different manufacturers to communicate and work together. OnVIF support gives you the freedom to choose cameras from different manufacturers without being locked into a single brand. This not only provides more options, but can also help you find the best camera for your needs at the right price. OnVIF also uses something called profiles to organize different features. Think of them like different levels of support. Each profile adds specific functions, so knowing which ones your camera and recorder support can help you make the right choice. Here's a breakdown of the different profiles. Profile S, this is the most common profile. If your camera is OnVIF compatible, it probably supports Profile S. It handles basic video streaming, lets you control the camera's movement if it has PTZ, and sends basic alerts. Profile G, if you want your camera to record to an NVR or other storage system, Profile G makes that happen. It lets you save, search and playback recorded video. Profile T, this profile improves how your video looks and adds better motion detection. It also supports newer video compression formats like H.265, which helps save storage space while keeping high quality videos. Profile M, if your camera has AI powered features like facial recognition, object detection or smart motion tracking, Profile M is what makes those work. Profile A, this one is for security systems that control doors, keypads and card readers. If you are connecting cameras with a building's access system, Profile A makes sure they communicate properly. When buying a camera or an NVR, check which OnVIF profiles they support. If your camera supports Profile T, but your NVR only supports Profile S, you won't be able to use the advanced video features. If you just need basic video, Profile S is enough. If you want recording, look for Profile G. For better video quality, go with Profile T. And if you are dealing with AI features or access control, Profile M and A are what you need. Let me show you OnVIF in action using a free tool called OnVIF Device Manager. This software lets you find and connect to any OnVIF camera on your network. I've got three different brands of cameras here, a Ace Cam, Reolink and iMU camera. When I run a scan in OnVIF Device Manager, you can see all three cameras here in the list. Each one shows its IP address, manufacturer and model. With OnVIF Device Manager we can also see each camera's live video feed, change camera settings, check which OnVIF profiles each camera support, view and adjust video quality settings. This is a great way to test if your cameras are really OnVIF compatible before adding them to your NVR system. OnVIF isn't just for cameras, you can use it with lots of other security equipment like NVRs, door access system, motion detectors, different security sensors and even alarm systems. So this is how OnVIF works. First you plug in your camera and it joins your network. Your NVR or software looks for OnVIF devices. They find each other and start talking and just like that your camera shows up ready to use. And OnVIF has nothing to do with camera quality. The actual video quality and how well the camera is built, that's all down to who makes the camera. OnVIF really comes in handy when you are putting together a security system bit by bit. You want to mix different brands of cameras. You might want to add more cameras later on. You don't want to be stuck with just one camera brand. Thank you for watching. For more information about security camera systems and installation guides, subscribe to my channel. Feel free to post any questions in the comment section below. And I see you in the next video.